Welcome back to a continuation of how we add SAML based authentication to Cisco's identity services engine. In this particular example, we're using ICE 3.1 and we're using Azure Active Directory as the identity provider. So we've got our Azure tenant um, as we've seen in the previous video. And for those that haven't watched the previous video, feel free to check that out on my YouTube channel to see how we actually configure this. So what we have at the moment here is we have the option to log into our ICE graphical user interface using either our local credentials. So that's the login with ICE there or we can also make use of the login with SAML. So just to verify that this works from our previous session, we'll just click login with SAML. I'll enter my login credentials. And as you can see, once I've entered my credentials, we actually have access um, to our ICE graphical user interface. And that's using the SAML authentication method there. So I'm just going to log out of that. And now what we're going to do in this particular video is we're going to look at how we can actually use um, Duo two-factor authentication and apply that to this authentication flow. So when a user is accessing the graphical user interface using SAML-based authentication, we can make use of Duo by way of conditional access policies to enforce two-factor authentication using Duo. And this is great because we get to use the policies and the policy engine from Duo while still making use of the Azure as the identity provider and uh, single sign-on and uh, just by configuring conditional access. So it's worth pointing out that in order to do this, you need to make sure that uh, your Azure tenant and licensing is um, set to um, have p1 or p2 licenses and that way you're going to have access to um, the conditional access features so this is our azure tenant and what we're going to do we've configured all the um, single sign-on information that we needed the users in groups so we've got uh, one user from the last video called ice admins and that's got uh, sorry one group with one user in and um, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go down to conditional access and what we need to do here is create a new policy and it's worth pointing out we have already configured a custom control for the duo integration to actually use duo as the multi-factor authentication um, provider so if we just um, Click off of this a minute. And we just go to custom controls. We can see here that we've got Duo uh, configured here already. So if you've not done that integration, I have done this on a previous video, uh, one of my Duo videos on my channel. So do take a look at that if you are looking at uh, configuring a custom control. Similarly, there is documentation on the Duo website around this so do take a look at that because you will need to ensure that the custom control is firstly configured before you can actually make use of duo as a multi-factor authentication provider so again still within conditional access we're just going to select here a new policy and then what we'll do is we'll give this a new policy name so we'll just call it ice access for the lack of a better um, name to use and what we're going to do is we're going to select some groups we'll say users in groups and we'll select our ice group so ice admins and then for our cloud app this would already be selected if we did it through our enterprise application but because we are now actually in conditional access we do need to specify this so let's just select an app and i think i call mine ice GUI. there you go so you can see my enterprise application so we'll select that so it's going to apply this conditional access policy is going to apply to our ice gui application in terms of conditions, we'll leave that because we're not really focused on that. What we are focused on, however, is the grant. 
So if we click on that, once you have configured your custom control for Duo, you'll get this additional option here at the bottom. So required Duo MFA. Require multi-factor authentication is the Microsoft's authentication. We're looking at using Duo's, so we do need to select that option there. And we'll leave the uh, default setting there for the uh, multiple controls. And that's basically if you've got more than one of these uh, radio boxes ticked here. As we've only got one request to our MFA, it doesn't really matter. So we we'll select that. And then what we'll do is at the end, we just need to make sure our policy is enabled. So we'll turn that on and then we'll press create. So you can see there that's um, that's created that policy we've got now the ice access policy in our conditional access there so what we should be able to do now is we should be able to test multi-factor authentication and again as i say custom control is already configured i already have my duo environment configured uh, with azure active directory so the um, users are synchronized to my duo environment which is obviously a requirement before you can actually get this uh, or, or have users successfully authenticating using two-factor authentication so again if you do want to take a look at those bits and pieces on on how to set that up um, please take a look at my previous videos they should be um, set up information around that if you don't find anything that uh, answers your questions do let me know and let me know what it is that you're looking for and I will do my best to create a uh, video around that specifically. So once this is done, let's just go to our ICE environment again. And I'm actually going to start a new incognito window here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to log in with SAML again. And I'm going to log in with my uh, user that's permitted. And this is also the user, as I say, that is synchronized within Duo as well. So they uh, can complete uh, multi-factor authentication. So they've got a device enrolled within Duo. So we should be able to complete that uh, two-factor authentication. This time you can see the duo prompt here. So this is asking me for um, passwordless in this uh, this case here because I have set the application in duo to uh, accept passwordless. So again, I do have other options here so I can send a push notification. So I'll send that now to my device. I approve that there. You can see now I'm logging in successfully. Just press no on that. And there you go. I have now logged into my ICE graphical user interface uh, with SAML based authentication. And on top of that, I've now added dual multi factor authentication to that flow as well. So we, we are further securing access to the environment with Duo's multi factor authentication. If we take a look at the Duo policies now, go down to reports you can see here that uh, access is being granted users being approved we can see that uh, we've got the access device we can see the authentication method that's being used as well so we get all that information there as well and what we can do as well based on that that policy that we um, have configured we can actually you know configure different uh, policy elements to do different different checks and you know, if you wanted to specify particular authentication methods in this case i've got push and web authentication enabled you could also you know enable different uh, authentication methods as well so you've got the um, user policies device policies and um, you've got some additional policies around networks and uh, 
authentication as well. So it gives you the ability to add granular control to SAML-based authentication that may already be using Azure Active Directory to authenticate, but still with that conditional access element, you get to add Duo's multi-factor authentication. And it's perfect if you already have a uh, Duo environment and you want to you know, streamline everything, consolidate everything so that you're using one uh, solution that you know can handle that multi-factor authentication and and device trust etc so it's a perfect way to to go if you're looking to uh, do that as well and with that that is simply how we can add duo's multi-factor authentication to i saml based authentication to add that extra layer of security thank you for watching